Welcome guys to the broken walkthrough. In this video, I'm gonna show you an extensive, um, well, walkthrough <laughs> to my track Broken with Joe Cartwright. It's out now on Listen Music. The link is in the YouTube video. Go and check it out, um, or it will be in the comments box. If this is on Facebook, you got you know, you gotta do things on multiple social uh, portals nowadays. So yeah, let's get cracking. So first of all, we're gonna look at percussion. And in this track, we've got really simple percussion. It's a bit of a side bass track, although the side purists out there will say it's not a side trance, and look, it's not, but it's got some side kind of vibes to it with the bass line and the, the laid back percussion. Normally, I will have 12 to 15 little bits of percussion, and in this one, we've got much, much less. So, what we got? Let's have a little run through. First of all, let's pull full, though. let's play the full groove. So as you can see, very, very, very simple. First of all, we've got a kick, but then we've got a split of percussion. It's just so simple. That's just the uh, offbeat closed hat. Really simple. On the closed hats, I do like to put a bit of a, um, a groove in the percussion. Uh, here we've got um, 17k, we've got two, sorry, we've got 24 decibel boost, so quite high. That's just going to help it shine a little bit. We've also got a bit crusher on there, and I do really like a bit crusher on uh, on a closed hat. It just adds a little bit of bite. Next, we've got the open hat, the most important uh, aspects for the drive of the groove. Very nice, again, the most important part of this aspect, or this element, is this beautiful solid state logic percussion um, hi-hat. It's basically SSL EQ, and if you go to load and press percussion, or hi-hat, it, it, it loads this preset. Super effective. Just cleans up the whole sound. So they're pretty much the main elements, and then we've just got some supporting elements. This is a percussion groove I made. I chopped it up from a loop. If we take off the processing, it's very, very simple. And it's mainly just focusing on filling out the low frequencies or the, the mid frequencies. A lot of producers miss the frequencies from 200 hertz to about 5K. And throughout your track, there is a lot of these frequencies available. And yeah, lots of people miss them out. So for this particular groove, I want to make sure that the percussion elements or the percussive elements was filling out that space. So you can see how much of a difference that was having. Next, same thing. Now you'll notice on these two items, we've got a spread. Spread is used across the entire track and I make sure I use it on all my elements. Basically spreading the elements left and right, making sure we're, use, we're making use of the stereo field. Layering is one of the main aspects of making music, and you can tell as strong as this element is, when you add this second element, it makes a real difference. So it's really important. And again, when, when, we, when we mute it, you'll hear it disappear nicely. Now I've just got a collapse, two layers. 
Fat layer's like the crunch, the high. This is more the body of the, the uh, layer. Really nice, simple groove there. Let's look at some of the atmospheres of the track. Really interesting track in terms of atmospheres. And again, atmosphere is just a great tool to fill out that low frequency. Basically, you have, think of it like this, your kick, your mid bass, your sub. Well, in between your mid bass and your sub, there's lots and lots and lots of room. So it's really important to fill out that room with what I call low mid frequencies, 200 Hertz to 5,000 Hertz. And there's basically lots and lots and lots of room in your frequency range to fill it out. Think of making music like a chest, and in that chest there's three compartments. You've got a really small compartment with just your kick and your sub. Not, not much else can fit between 0 and 200 hertz. That's that small compartment. Next you've got, call it 10k to 20k. That's where all your leads are going to be, all your high end of your, of your vocals, um, your percussion elements, plucks, things like that. And then in the middle, you've got 200 hertz to 5K, and that's where your mid bass is gonna be, and that's where the majority of your frequency spectrum should be focused around in terms of atmospheres, mid bass, um, things like that. Even making sure, as, as, as you just saw, that, that you've got percussive elements and lead elements and pluck elements that are making sure that they've got them look nice low mid frequencies. It's really important that you fill out that area, and when a track, uh, when you get feedback from a track saying it's thin, it's more likely than not due to the fact you're not filling out this space Remember, it's a massive compartment that can be filled. So it's going to play some of the atmospheres. Two more love limits of atmosphere, really bringing the track to life. If we look at this track, I believe it was sampled from a size trans track, so let's turn all the processing off on it. So that was a side trans track, which I got off Beatport, paid for it, imported it, uh, I looped it. So it just repeats the same thing. And then I put some uh, effects on it. Change the key using Wave Sound Shifter. And now I've got my own little nice atmosphere. Another very clever little bit of effects work here. This is one of my favorite parts of the track, so cool. If we just show you what it originally was. Thank you. 
Really clever. So it's just trying to get creative with your with your elements, and this is where so many people don't seem to stand out because they're not being creative. To be a good producer, you have to get all your, your main foundations down and get a great melody. To be a real standout producer, you know, you want to get all your you you, you, you want to get creative with your counter melodies and your effects and your atmospheres. Look, some people are just geniuses and less is more. John O'Callaghan, John Giuseppe Ottivani spring to mind. Not really loads going on in a track, but just so good melody-wise and creativity-wise in terms of being creative with the music, but we don't have to do loads and loads of effects and atmospheres and acids and crazy transitions. But for someone like me, I'm not probably as good as them, so I rely on on, on being an, a standout producer, in my opinion. Um, and you know, my, my music speaks for itself. But I I rely on being more creative technically. So that's how I go about doing it. Let's look at some more of the interesting things. Let's look at the baseline. Really simple bass in this one. So it's just one layer. Just playing a dun 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 dun. You'll notice that I change the velocity and the first note. The velocity and the second note, sorry, are very short. If the velocity is low, it goes dun 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 dun. So it's dun dun dun. <laughs> so yeah, I, yeah, I kind of got, I got that wrong. Dun dun. dun. Um, and what's happening is the short, the first note is lower in velocity, and also the first two notes are shorter. And by changing the velocity and the note length, you just get more of a groove and a rhythm going. But well, yeah, really simple. There's a lot going on there. But yeah, if you'd like to know more information about this baseline and potentially I could give you the, the preset or the channel strip if you're in Logic, drop me a line, tuition at adelinesdj.com. Happy to share knowledge and information with you guys and even presets to some extent. And yeah, that's literally it for the baseline. Works quite extensive. I'm going to show you the vocal effects. Oh, actually, let's look at this atmosphere section. I love this. These atmosphere one shots. I have atmosphere rolling from my track, and it's a rolling atmosphere, so it's continuously playing. But I also have little uh, one shots, very important to have right. So.
cats come to attack me on the, uh, the computer table. I'm trying to buy my keyboard. <laughs> I guess you can't see, but funny. Okay, let's have a look at vocal work. Lots of vocal work going on, lots of really cool stuff. Let's first of all look at this vocal. <laughs> Nice little vocal chop there. Took so long to get these right. I mean, you've got just these little one shot bits as well. about the counter melodies man the counter melodies make such a big difference it's what brings real depth to you sorry it's what brings real depth to your tracks Bass lines generally a drone, but I like to change it up as well, and I like to have different kind of bass lines in. It's always important that you get your drone and you keep your drone. 
But in this case, you can see that I've EQ'd it. Now I've separated it from the main drone. And the reason for that is, is if you try and turn on an EQ midway, or you try and attenuate the frequency to get it so you've got a space available, I find you often get a click or a pop. So by just changing the channel, or duplicating the channel, and on the second one, come on, cat. On my desk again. On the second one, put an EQ on it, and you'll get something like this. And what you get is you get that nice mid-range from the drone. Again, filling out that space. The bass line's really cool. Changes. Apologies if this video is a little bit echoey. I've just moved, in, moved into a new studio and uh, it is very echoey while I wait for a treatment. Really simple acids in this, just pretty much one-shot acids. Apart from, I think we've got this atmosphere here. Yeah, nice and simple. Last but not least, we've got some mid bases going on. Really simple stuff. And again, it's just really trying to fill out that, that mid range, which I've talked so much about in this video. mistaken there I think I must have muted one of them but yeah you can see how effective they are anyway and that's pretty much it you know pretty basic track apart from what's really makes it so special is how much detail does go into it and how much creativity and how many how much depth there is in a track with the counter melodies and things like that so listen this track um, very special track to myself and anyone that you know feels like they've been broken before and they, they, they want to be fixed for me it's not really about that it's more just it's, it's a track that I spent a lot of time getting right over a year People say to me, oh, I made this track in a day, like, how cool am I? And it's like, listen, mate, I don't give a fuck. Like, less is, less is more. <laughs> Take your time. It's not about how fast you can make a track. It doesn't make a difference. Quality over quantity. You're not a great producer because you make, can make a track fast. So, yeah, I, I would say I'm a bit of a slow producer, but I really take my time getting the detail and getting all the mid low frequencies, making sure I've got a full sound spectrum. This, without a doubt, is probably my cleanest, uh, most interesting sonically... Uh, detailed production and it's because I took my time with it and I'm developing over time I've been producing 13 years now and you're still getting better all the time 
So listen, guys, please go and support the track. It costs you like $2 or something like that. It's less than a cup of coffee to support myself and the trans scene in general. You know, I earn no money from music, so that money doesn't go to front to me. But, it, it, you know, it allows me to, uh, to I guess, be more successful in terms of uh, beatboard charts and, and it raises awareness and stuff like that. And it does allow me to carry kind of carry, carry on doing this kind of stuff. So any questions, tuition at animalistdj.com. I do do one-to-one lessons. I don't advertise because I don't have to. But um, saying that, if you'd like more information on that, it's tuition at adamellisdj.com. And also a little heads up, check out the Adam Ellis Music Institute. This is a new concept that I've uh, developed. We're starting off in Las Vegas. We're going to be going around the world, but we're starting off in Las Vegas. It's the, uh, the 13th to the 15th of December. And it's a unique two-day learning experience with world-renowned producer and international trans artist myself. And listen, I'm not going to bore you to death in this, but it's basically, it's going to be in Las Vegas. It's for two days, and it's a seminar-based experience. And I'll just quickly show you what you get. So what's included. So you get world-class dining throughout your stay with one of Las Vegas' best catering companies. You get a one-to-one DJ lesson from myself from the latest Pioneer Club Gear. We get a one-to-one feedback session to discuss your current projects. You get an exclusive private warm-up set from myself in the villa before we head to the illicit club night. More information on that after. You get free VIP entry to the very first Las Vegas illicit club night, which is at the historic Thunderburn Lounge. So that's going to be on the Saturday. So yeah, we're going to get all transports included and whatnot. You get access to our Animalis Music Institute Dropbox folder. It's got a load of stuff in it, including 50 hours plus of HD recorded private tutorials, sound banks, screenshots, sample packs, channel ships, and you name it, it's got it in it. You get high quality screen flow recording for the entire masterclass. So you get to watch back the entire teaching that I'm doing. You get a one to one Skype session for feedback of your track up to one year later after the masterclass is finished. 20% discount on any future one to one Skype um, courses. You get access into the Adam Ellis Life Through Music private Facebook group. You get an Adam Ellis wristband as well as an, uh, an illicit wristband. You get a signed what makes your heartbeat uh, poster as well as a signed Las Vegas poster. We're really proud to present you the Adam Ellis Music Institute, Institute booklet. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and yeah, basically the Adam Ellis Music Institute, not only will you receive a unique learning experience, you also get a lifetime of memories. When designing this concept, it was important for, uh, to ensure that participants not only walked away with a new found sense of confidence and knowledge and empowerment, but also a keepsake that will forever remind you of your experience. So basically spanning over four pages, this booklet has been designed and loved by, so <laughs> designed with love and passion by myself. And it basically aims to, aims to uh, serve as a memory for you. It's been printed to the highest standard and each one will be signed by myself. Um, there's more stuff included as well, like yoga lessons. Um, the venue itself is absolutely insane. It's, it's basically a world-renowned villa, villa, world-class villa, sorry. It's got insane stuff. I'm not going to go through all this now with you, but listen, it's, it's an absolutely amazing experience. And I hope you can at least check it out. I'm going to put a link in the, in, the, uh, in the comment section. So listen, if you're interested in learning how to produce and want an, a life-changing and, a, you know, a really unique experience, uh, it's fifteen hundred dollars for a shared room. For that, you get three days and three nights in a villa, sixteen hours of seminar based experience, plus all the other benefits. And um, you get a merch package. You get optional free yoga classes. Uh, you get three days of high quality catering. Access to the Adam Ellis Music Institute. You get all your your transport. Uh, you get an uh, an extra warm up uh, exclusive DJ set for myself, which is private just to the guys in the villa. So listen, very, very interested. Limited, limited space is available. So please, guys, go and check it out now if you're interested in learning how to produce because it's once in a lifetime kind of thing that we're going to be doing in Las Vegas. So thank you for your time and uh, I'll see you guys soon around the world. Any information on anything whatsoever, be it big or small, tuition at adamlistdj.com. Thank you.